and welcome to episode 18 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we've got about a week to go in 2023. The standings update, Stockport County are in second place. Same points as Colchester United. Before we play any games, I just want to address the board objective from last episode. I received a few negative comments about it. That's understandable. It wasn't a great objective. The board are there to give every episode a little twist. Now, I thought playing All Out Attack would be quite funny for an episode. It did didn't turn out like that and that's why it was scrapped straight away after the first game so if any of you guys have got like looming fears that the board are going to ruin the season ruin the team i'll make sure that that doesn't happen overall the board objectives have been really good but you can't be perfect every single time anyway i've made sure that this episode is a little bit more light-hearted let's listen to the board hello wesley we're extremely disappointed with your actions last episode but understand that it resulted in better results for the team we've injected two hundred thousand pounds into the club finances as a peace offering. To return the gesture, it's expected that Cutsy attends the supporters gala later and cracks some jokes at the players' expense. Additionally, where is Rafa Reina? We need more Rafa in our lives. Please play him in all the games this episode. Nice one. We'll get £200,000 injected into our budget soon. I need to do some terrible stand-up comedy. And Rafa Reina needs to play. We're probably going to see more of Reina to the right, to the left. But Pegararo is not fully fit here, so we might play him up front. It's Stockport County against Sutton United. Sutton United are one of the teams that I will not miss after getting promoted from League Two. So awkward, so direct, and so quick. It takes so long for us to select Soto by the time that we've actually got a hold of him. Uh, they've passed it 20 yards upfield. It's a shame that we haven't got Pegararo to start this off. I think it was his best episode last time out. That'll be intercepted by Soto. Definite shirt pull yet again ignored by the referee. Wow. And now we don't have a right back. What a slide tackle by Dada. You talk about being awkward. That is awkward. Get some marauding runs in from Jang Sung Chan. That could be his strength. Just notice that the Sutton United left back is called Kak. Very interesting. Good block. Jang Sung Chan getting better. We kicked that all the way to Lopez for some reason. Oh, how about that for a ball? <laughs> Bro, you can tell he's Spanish. Fantastic. It's Juicy John. Oh, it's gone through the goalkeeper. Rhythm is a dancer. Juicy John's the answer. Let me sniff that ginger hair. <sighs> That's vile. Weathered a bit of an early storm. Could have been a, a through ball there centrally. But we closed down gaps quite quickly. Dada is having an amazing game with two stops. Trying to get that slide challenge in. Lopez pushes it out. It's Kiak. Let me select the centre backs. Pushed away by Lopez. It's very smart by the goalkeeper. A missed header there by Reynor. That looked out. Surely that was out. Aye, aye. What did I tell you about this team being awkward? They keep on scoring weird goals. Is that not out of play? Obviously not. Or else the game would have called for a goal kick. Even in our darkest moments, we brought some light out of that last episode, didn't we? Knowing that putting more players in the corners is going to give us way more chance of scoring goals from the set piece. And we would have never have known that unless we did go ultra attacking. Please, just let me select a center back. Good save. Getting a little bit annoyed there at the inability to defend. Where is Pavel Novak? Far too central for my liking. Step in. Be better at this corner. We are not better. We are so not better. Big save, Lopez. Really slow by Alberto Soto. Can't find the pass either. Come on, mate. Don't let him turn like that. It's too easy. Good work, Lopez. We've needed the goalkeeper today. Should have been a tackle there. Nah. Keeper. Get some substitutions in. We've got six minutes of uh, regulation to play. Nice touch by Arju. We are away. Go on, Arju. Woo, cack. Arju's freshness, his pace should help stretch it. That's going to dip. Oh, Gera almost found the top corner. Three added minutes. Yes, Dada Buster Man say, what a read. Find Arju. Fantastic pass. Now get into the box, what? lads. Oh my goodness. That slide tackle was absolute perfection. Full time, Stockport won, Sutton United won. We were the better side, 
But Sutton United hung on in there. Had that really strange goal and then made some really good defensive plays when they needed to. Couple of days rest and then we got Grimsby Town travelling to uh, Edgeley Park. The players must be very happy that this uh, holiday season they've been playing home fixtures. This is going to be a demolition job. The first proper easy game that Stockport ever played. I'm pretty sure that was against Grimsby. Arju with the free kick in a good position. We'll get the corner before it's played. Make sure that there's maximum in the box. Here come the numbers. Here comes the corner kick by Anderson. Knocked down Dada. Rafa Reina. What? About four yards away from goal. His effort was denied by a combination of the defender and the goalkeeper. Pegararo leaps. Keep on going. Lovely play. Rafa Reina onside. Back to Pegararo. Now that is football. It's a shame that we haven't finished it. Loose touch. Gallagher with the stud. We keep it in the half. Juicy John. How's the ball? I think Pegararo's onside. Will the flag go up? It's Pegararo! So come on, Pegararo! Stop, bud, Italiano! We go wild, wild, wild! We're brewing a big time player there, I think. The improvement is very clear to see. Sanders. Ooh, had to time that right. Brilliant. Dada. Oh, oh, that's nasty by Dada Bustamante. I wanted to hook around the player, not hook through the player. That could be a red card. Thankfully, it's yellow. Only the 1 0. Pretty disappointing. Would like to see more in the second half. I'm sure the viewers would like to see, you know, three, four goals being scored. Dada. Ooh, there's a play on symbol. Probably not going to be a red card. What a finish that is by the Grimsby forward. Our oh, Grimsby Town now eyeing up a surprise victory. Usually I'm very cautious with the score lines, but I didn't give Grimsby any kind of chance. Arch you, just play it back in. Keep us coming out. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Lopez, wonderful goalkeeping. Juicy John. Oh, surely Pegararo on side now. Yes! Oh! <laughs> it is about a foot away from the bottom corner. We're bringing on four players. The crowd are getting restless. Surely we can win this. Short ball from the corner kick and they're keeping it in the corner. <laughs> they have saved some time there. It doesn't look like they're gonna go short. We've got Dada Buster Mante. Oh my, oh my goodness, we haven't. We just can't defend corners. How are you not going mental? Grimsby Town look like they've won the game in the 90th minute. What the hell have I just watched? Johnson, yes! Oh, it's a Gero! <laughs> oh, Grimsby Town have won this game. This should have been signed, sealed and delivered. Stockport one, Grimsby Town two. We had 10 shots to Grimsby's four. The XG was 3.8 to 0 0.9. What a great way to finish off 2023. There is a transfer offer for Rasmus Pearson. Now his uh, market value maximum is £600,000. It's a lot of money for a player that isn't as good as Noah Anderson. I propose another transfer fee of 650 pounds thousand that's above his market value and they're willing to pay it this is a good deal surely if that deal goes through they'll have to give me more than an f rating the cutscenes out this is it rasmus pearson who would have thought i wish you all the best with the rest of your career but you are not the swedish central midfielder for us see hey that's the best i've ever seen excluding the free agents now what we have right here is actually a good canadian player 51 to 69 overall potential of 72 to 94 about time don't you think the scouts have returned but we're not putting them on a mission just yet down in the comment section, I want you to tell me where to scout. Remember that we've essentially got every country in the world. Next episode, I will randomly select two for Roly Sepp, Freeman Hansen, Zachary Russell. He's going to go to England and get some homegrown players. Rather shockingly, that surprise loss against Grimsby Town has dumped us all the way down to fourth. Person out the way. It would be good for Noah Anderson to have a storming game away against Walsall. Quick change at the start. Nearly forgot Rayner. I don't think RG was going to win that. Good save, Uray. Oh. It's been pushed. Oh, my goodness. 
the Walsall player has blocked his own man's shot. And also being called offside, this was guaranteed to go in. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Get men in the box, even the keeper and proud up for corners. Are you? Oh, nice ping. Raynor into the midfield. Noah Anderson to Jimmy G. Might have a 1 2. Anderson, Sweden! Whoo! Great pass! Wonderful by Jimmy G. Acrobatic to Pegararo. Kowalczyk can go back inside. Pass the ball! Riley Sanders moving like he's got glue on the bottom of his shoes. I really don't like the lack of responsiveness that we've got from this game. It's a red card. What on earth? Maddox has been sent off. Hang on, let's get back onto the instant replay. Not for one second I thought that was a sending off. He's coming from the side. He has made contact with Soto first, but how is that a red card? That's not endangering anyone. Maybe that's exactly what we needed. Yes, Gera! Oh, he's missed it. Go on, Novak, keep running. Go on, Pavel Novak. Minutes to go in the game. Novak back to Juicy Johnny, just lets it run. Jimmy G, why are you letting it run, Juicy? Just poor decisions again and again and again. Walsall nil, Stockport nil. Who else could we try out at central midfield? Uh, bring in Jerul Farrell. We'll take Michael van der Herk as well. Another centre back in here. Free Sanders to play midfield. This episode has created a lot of questions. And not that many answers. I feel really, really sorry for Rafa Reina. It's only season two, and the team have definitely grown very much past his, his skill level. It's Rochdale against Stockport. The lack of attacking quality might be just unveiling something way more deeper than just Stockport playing bad. It might mean that I need a couple of days break off this game. The FIFA's been a shambles today. No matter how good or bad I've played, it has been so unresponsive. This is Pegararo on the ball, but he's got the turning circle of a truck. Ah, oh, we're going to concede the corner kick. It's come off Argyu. This is the time here for Rochdale. We can't select our players. What a surprise! That was the only way that they were going to score. The only way. The defence, really good. Until you get them on a set piece. Especially when you can't select the right players. Oh, give me the right back. Mate, we're going to concede again. Wow. <laughs> wow, man. FIFA 23 is a flawless game that cannot be critiqued in any way, shape or form. The team, no matter who's been on the field, has played like strangers. Full time. Rochdale 2. Stockport nil. Dada Buster Mante might be packing his bags. Let's forget the shenanigans of FIFA because FIFA could be good one moment and bad the other. Just on a team performance level, that was not good enough. It's comment section time. Pennington! Oh. There's around 6,000 plus languages on Earth and Mr. Penguin chooses to speak facts. Jamie McIntosh asked, is there a plan to eventually go legendary? At the start of the series, we decided to go on world class because the world class AI tend to cross the ball in more. However, if the game keeps on playing like that, there might have to be some kind of reordering of sliders. I'm keeping my mind open. There could be like a jump up to legendary if that's the best for the series. Preferably, I'd just like the game to work. That would be nice. A pretty damning episode on Stockport and FIFA 23. I'm off to the supporters gala to crack a few jokes. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications. A big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on Patreon. You guys are absolute legends. The good thing for us is that we're in the winter transfer window. Whether we need another striker, another midfielder, maybe a winger, whatever we need we can fix right now with the right tools take care guys right hello everybody it's a big crowd today in the supporters gala how are we all doing so i've got some uh, jokes here that i've written definitely not in a rush so me and the boys we had a magic show recently and it was all going swimmingly until buster mante entered the stage just stood there for a minute did nothing and just said da da 
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. What's the difference between a melon and your Ray Lopez? Nothing. If you cut them both up, they're red inside. <sighs> Proper murderous vibes there, Curtis. Nice one. Well, of course I meant a watermelon. I wasn't talking about honeydew, was I? All right, last one. Last one. This one's actually good, okay? So Juicy John's a little bit worried about stocky corner. It is a difficult market, the juice business, and they might have to expand into alcoholic beverages. So I told him, stock port. Thank you for having me. You enjoy your meals. Bye-bye. <laughs>